You ever have trouble turning girls on and getting them attracted? Well, today, we gonna fix that. What up, homie? My name's Dave, and I put out new videos every Tuesday and every Friday to help you get the girls you want and become the man you're meant to be. Now, there are certain secret things that turn girls on, and these are things that most girls probably aren't gonna tell you, and if you can start doing them, you can really start driving girls wild and getting them attracted fast. So now, Let's get into it. Hi, hi, everybody, move your body, sing along until the dawn and lift your hands up. Hi, hi. So I got my buddy How to Beast here for the video once again. What's up, man? What's going on, guys? <laughs> <laughs> and man, for body parts, a surprising thing I've seen a lot of girls like is those hands. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man, I've heard girls say this too, and I think it's probably because hands are, like, that's how you touch a girl. And if you have gross hands, it's gonna gross a girl out. So you wanna make sure that your nails aren't too long, you're always trimming your nails. If there's any dirt under there, you clean the dirt out of there, and you just wash your hands, moisturize your hands, keep them fresh. Hands will make her dance, bro. Hands will make her dance. <laughs> <laughs> All right, something else that a lot of girls have complimented me on after we fucked up is my glutes. You gotta realize I've been squatting for years. I squat a few times every week. And when you do that, you, you know, you start to build up a pretty good booty. And I think the reason girls like this is probably because, I mean, bro, if you got a big upper body and big arms and you don't have any glutes and your body's just kind of like straight here, it looks disproportionate. It looks like you could just like push yourself and you're just gonna like tip you're over. Like, you're those chicken legs. Yeah, you got chicken, chicken legs, man. <laughs> you have you wanna look if you wanna look like strong and athletic, like glutes are gonna do that. Yeah, plus you get that thrusting power too. That's, oh, pro oh, that's probably oh, like a sign for that too. A little right? bit too much thrusting power. <laughs> too much thrusting power. <laughs> <laughs> Alright man, but how do guys go out there and start building those glutes and get that ass? Well, you obviously need to do squats. But really, you want to be following a well-balanced lifting program that's building all of your physique together. So if you're really confused about what you should be doing right now, I'd recommend you check out my free physique quiz. I'll have Dave link that in the description. It's going to analyze your body type and then recommend the right diet and workout plan for you, bro. No more chicken legs. <laughs> One thing that girls are definitely not going home and bragging to their friends about and it's the guy who just works the regular nine to five job and all he does for fun is goes out and drinks on the weekend right he's just bored he lives a boring life i mean you might you might attract like boring girls and that's all they do but and then you just have that boring family life and <laughs> it just sucks <laughs> what you want to do instead is have that zest for life and what i mean by that is you're basically excited to live life and you have passions. You know, maybe you like to go scuba diving or you love going to the gym or you like playing basketball. Whatever it is that you do, you thoroughly enjoy it and it gets you excited to wake up every day. Dude, it's gonna make you like a magnet where like, this is the magnet, these are the girls and it's gonna be like, like they're gonna be attracted to you, bro, because they, they, people like excitement. That's why people watch movies. That's why people wanna travel. And if you can provide that excitement, So man, drop a comment below. Let me know what your biggest passion is right now. So put your hand in mine. Follow me, let me waste your time. Set up me, do some So you gotta be careful here because you have to distinguish the difference between dominance in the bedroom and dominance outside of the bedroom. In the bedroom, it's okay to have kind of a little bit more aggressive dominance. A lot of girls like that. But when you're outside of the bedroom, you shouldn't be aggressive and it should be more like you're like you're leading the way. Yeah, like you're commanding her, but doing it in a way that's a little bit more subtle. So instead of being like, let's go to the bar, <laughs> you'd be like, hey, well, let's go to the bar. And, and it's like you're, you're suggesting it without being like, hey, we're going here, you know? It's, it's like an aggressive dominance versus a polite dominance. Yeah, but either way, you're still telling her what you want. You're taking that initiative, and she knows that she can relax and follow your lead, and she's gonna like that. So 
just yesterday, Ayuki was flying back from Austin to Mexico City, and she gave me a call from the airport. She's like, oh my god, Dave, my flight got canceled. I don't know what to do. And instead of freaking out about it too, I took a deep breath, said, okay, we're going to handle this. I booked her another flight, and she was able to fly out later that day, and all was good in the world. And you know what, bro? She thought that shit was sexy. Yeah, man, this type of situation happens all the time with me and Julie as well. And if your girlfriend or a girl you're seeing gets into like a really emotional state where she's super anxious about something, it's easy to kind of just hope that she figures it out on her own so you don't have to worry about it. But what you need to do is take a deep breath and ask yourself, how can I calm her down now, make her feel better, and then what steps can we actually take to get this figured out. It's gonna make her feel like she can rely on you, and that is sexy. Love is not fiction, but this time the story's about. A king and a queen will pretend to be with me. So one of the things I used to always do was brag about where I'd travel to oh or where I was dude. traveling to next. I used to have to call this dude out on this, because whenever <laughs> Dave would meet a girl, within the first minute, he would drop something in there. Like, oh yeah, I used to live in Vietnam though. Or I'm about to travel to Spain. No big deal. You and, know when, me. and whenever you talk to a guy, he would <laughs> he'd always drop something in there about like, hey, man, all these girls I'm seeing right now. But I, I got all these girls I'm seeing right yeah, now. Yeah, like, by the way, that's a really annoying thing. Don't ever do that, especially when you meet a guy in the first, like, the first time you meet a guy, don't brag about girl. And I, I used to do the same thing thinking back though. Because I thought that the fact that, that my family's from Spain, I'm Spanish, I used to live in Spain, I thought like that was enough to get me laid. So whenever I met new girls, I'd always try and drop something in there. Oh yeah, like back when I was living in Spain. Yeah, like, yeah, you, you like paella? Like I know how to uh, make a sick paella <laughs> dish. I don't know how to put this, but I'm kind of a big deal. Really? Because at the end of the day, this is bragging. Like you have something that you're proud about but you're presenting it in this really like obnoxious manner. It's just, it's a turn off. Yeah, it's a lot better to let it come up naturally. You know, maybe she asks you about it, then you can tell her, uh, versus just trying to bring it up yourself and force it. And you know what? If it doesn't come up, you have to be okay with that girl just not knowing about it. And, and like your personality and your, your presence and your energy, you need to build confidence in that because that should be enough to carry your conversation. That's right. We have a great, um section of do it yourself do you like to do it yourself sometimes <laughs> i mean now there is one more thing that really turns girls on that we haven't talked about yet beast you know what it is these games <laughs> all right besides the games flirting games that's right if you know how to flirt like a boss you're really gonna turn girls on now if you're wondering Yo, Dave, how do I flirt? Well, I got you covered, bro. I just created a playlist with me and Beast's best flirting videos. Is it sick? It's the sickest. It's the sickest. Check it out right here. It's gonna teach you how to flirt like a boss. Let's keep it going. We'll see you there, homie.